Hey everyone, I'm FM Greeno, welcome along to episode 47 of the Greeno Tour. If you're enjoying this series and my other YouTube content, why not come and check out what I'm doing on Twitch as well? I stream every Monday and Friday evenings, got a save going on there with Rapid Vienna right now. It would be great to see you there. But for now, here we are on YouTube. We're with FC Köln. Let's go see how we're getting on. Before we take a look at recent results etc we've just had our youth intake and it was a very very disappointing one if i'm honest uh it's never at the end of the world when you're on a journey man if you don't get a great youth intake because of course it's very unlikely that you're going to be sticking around long enough for the youth players to come through and make an impact in your first team anyway uh, so normally i will try and improve the facilities we'll always try and improve the staff i always like to leave a club behind in a better state than when i took over I don't pay too much attention to the guys coming through. But there is one lad who came through in this youth intake who catches the eye a little bit. Davor Vukcevic, a Montenegrin centre-half, 15 years of age, already two and a half stars. Now, <laughs> that suggests to me he's going to end up being a decent player. There is one glaring problem I see with him, though, which is a natural fitness of three. It's about as low as I've seen anyone in FM21. Now, I did have a, a centre-half who I bought when I was at Honved, a guy called Robert Hulak, who came through and had a, a, a natural fitness of five, I think. And I checked him out recently, and he still has natural fitness of five. So it's not necessarily something that improves during the game, like the, all the other attributes will, as he develops. So I don't know, has anyone got any hints or tips on how you can improve that? Because I can't find anything. Other than that, like I say, I think his attributes are good. Great technique already. Great work rate, some decent mentals, decent physicals. His technicals are pretty good for a centre half. Um, yeah, he could be one to keep an eye on. Not necessarily for me here at Köln, but maybe someone I could pick up later on in the save. We were last together for that Bayern double header where we beat them in the league and unfortunately lost on penalties to them in the cup. And we kind of stuttered a little bit after that. So we played Stuttgart at home, nil nil draw. Went to Paderborn, got another 0-0 draw, a game we really ought to be looking to win. Dortmund at home, won all draw. Not bad, but we needed a very, very late, in fact, last minute equaliser from Fiat to Arp to get us that point. We travelled to Leverkusen and got beat 2-1. The things weren't looking too great. But luckily, we came up against Union Berlin next, who are bottom of the table, only nine points all season, and we absolutely smashed them. Which I think improved the morale a little bit. We then took on Nuremberg and beat them 3-0. So we've got just, what's that, seven games left of the season now? Today we're at home to Leipzig. And then we've got a reasonable run. Hamburg, Hoffenheim, Wolfsburg, Mönchengladbach, Schalke, Freiburg. So no one really at the top of the table. So yeah, hopefully we can get a good positive end to the season. A couple of changes in our lineup today to usual. Fiat de Arp is going to start the game today. Unfortunately, Thielman has a little bit of a knock. He's back from uh, the injury tomorrow, but I think he's fit enough to be on the bench. And we have put Scovin at left back today. Dennis Mann plays on the right hand side of midfield, and Browner drops to the bench. He's not been in the best of form recently, to be honest, so that's the reason for that change. Otherwise, it's pretty much the side you'd expect to see. Let's get to the Leipzig game. So there's our lineup as we just discussed. Let's have a little look and see how Leipzig are going to line up. Very similar formation. Danny Olmo still kicking around in their squad. As you can see here in the league table, we currently sit in third, but it's fairly close all the way down to sort of sixth and seventh. With seven games left of the season. Hopefully we can string enough decent results together, having looked at that schedule, that can keep us in the Champions League places, which would be quite an achievement, I think. Bayern, as you can see, are a couple of points behind us as things stand, although that very much depends on what happens in this game. If it stays a draw, that will be how it ends up. Like I say, form recently has been a mixed bag. I was a bit concerned by that little wobble that we had. Oh, goodness me, what an effort from Olmo that was. Um, but, yeah, having those last two wins really seems to have perked everyone up a little bit. 
the, the spirit in the camp looks good. Morale is generally not bad. We're not starting this game particularly well, though. Leipzig has certainly had the better of it so far. Hopefully we can build something here from the back, though. Mariba to Smorgol. Good ball to Arp. Can he finish? No, not quite on this occasion. Arp's done really well whenever he's come into the team this season. Even if it's just off the bench, he's been a bit of a super sub. Um, he's, I think he's scored only one fewer goal than uh, Thielman has. And Thielman has definitely been the first choice striker. So, yeah, I've been pretty pleased with the way he's uh, impacted the team. Guevara has done pretty well since he came in. You remember the young Colombian centre-half that we picked up in January? He's played about 10 games now, averaging just under a 7. Um, but he's developing nicely. Um, his heading has improved by one attribute point already in the, just the first few weeks of being with us. So hopefully that will continue to improve. Well, here we are at half-time. Not the most exciting game so far. 0-0 at half-time. But what are we going to say to the guys to try and uh, get their morale up a little bit more and out there doing a bit better? Let's, should we tell them we're not happy with a performance? Yeah, there we go. That's motivated everybody, hasn't it? Back out for the second half. We'll give it 10 or 15 minutes and see if we need to make any changes. Hopefully this could be an, an attack for us. Mariba on the ball again. I've been very impressed with him this season. I did try and pick him up on a, um, a free transfer. He was out of contract with Manchester United in the summer. But unfortunately he signed a... a contract extension there so uh oh Guevara we were just talking about him and he just crashed in a header from a corner off the bottom of the bar and over the line great run into the near post keeper will feel he should have done better a bit of jelly wrists going on there but we take the lead bit of a change in formation from Leipzig there they've moved to a five-man midfield here goes Arp Running down the left, Batista Meyer, cutting inside, can he finish? No, he can't, but man can. And that's 2-0 in the blink of an eye. Great little run by Arp there. I'm not quite sure why, why he was out there. He's supposed to be our advanced forward, so should be on the sort of shoulder of the centre half. But, unfortunately, with the, uh, the inverted winger slash inside forward roles going on, we do tend to get other people in and around the box. So if he does get pulled out of position, there's often going to be a decent option around for him. So 2-0. Very, very nice. And this man is a player, actually, I had been looking at because he was on 6.3. and thinking maybe he was a player that we were going to pull off. But I think he's deserved to stay out there a little while longer now. So with 25 minutes to go, I think it is probably time to make a couple of changes. I'll be back in a moment. So no tactical changes whatsoever, just a couple of personnel changes. We brought on Tafana in the attacking midfield role, and Lavia has come on in the Mitzala role. Hopefully we'll just play out the last sort of 10 or 15 minutes without too much incident. Leipzig here on the attack, though. Oh, good effort, but cleared. Well done, Skov. Looked like it was going to fall to their attacker, but unfortunately Skov got a foot in and managed to sneak it behind for a corner. I like for them still ongoing, but we get in, disrupt the play. Guevara hoofs it into the stand. Good lad. No mucking about there. <laughs> he was on his wrong foot. So, uh, yeah, just slash it away. That's the best thing to do. So Tafner and Mariba combining quite nicely there. Oh man, why didn't he just run onto that ball? Arp, is he onside? I think he is, you know. It must have been tight. I'm not quite sure what man was doing here, because it looked like he had an opportunity just to control the ball there and run onto it, but obviously miscontrolled it. Arp snuck away from his defender. We haven't seen quite how close that was for an offside. It must have been really tight, though. Let's have a little look here. Oh, the guy at the back post just playing him on. That was fortunate. So 3-0. I did not expect this at halftime, that's for sure. Let's make one more change. Then we've got some very tired legs out there. I think maybe it is time for 
Well, maybe Skov can come off, I think. And we'll bring Browner on at left back. And just play out the last few minutes, like I say, hopefully without too much incident. Though I don't think we have to be too worried at this point. 3-0 up with a minute plus injury time to go. Even if they pull one back now, oh, which they should have done. <laughs> it wouldn't be the end of the world. Four minutes of stoppage time. Not quite sure why. There's been no injuries that I can see. We're into the last of those four minutes now. Looking to build something down the left-hand side. Browner with his fresh legs. Gets a ball over. Man at the back post coming in. Goodness me, he leapt well there. Got above two Leipzig defenders. Now this is the kind of game that... Three or four weeks ago, nil-nil at half-time, it probably would have gone on to be nil-nil. But like I say, the confidence just seems to be up in the lads at the moment. We've really pushed on without really making any tactical changes, just a, a little bit of a morale boost. We've got on to score four goals in the second half. It's a 4 0 win. So that result, as you can see, consolidates our position in third in the league. We're five points behind Dortmund with six games to play. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge to overcome them. Of course, they're going to be chasing down Augsburg, who are a further five points in front of them. Champions League places go down to fourth in uh, Germany. So having a five-point gap over Leipzig, who we've just beaten, is a really good advantage at this stage of the season for us. So hopefully we ought to be able to secure one of those top four places without too much bother. Six games to play. Like we said, not too many enormous challenges amongst them. We're not playing any of the really top teams again. So yeah, I'm fairly confident about how things are going to go. So with that in mind, I'm probably going to push on through and go right to the end of the season. And we'll come back for the last game. We'll see where we end up in the league. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I think it was a great result, wasn't it? Goodness me. And uh, yeah, interesting to take a look at what one of the youth intake. And like I said, if there's any hints or tips you have about how I can improve his natural fitness, that would be really interesting to know. But if you did like it, please drop a like on there for me. It helps me get seen by more people, of course. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, come and hop on the Greeno bus. There is plenty of room for you all. It just remains for me to thank you for watching. I will see you soon for more action here with Kern. Bye for now.